हाय एंड वेलकम टू गीक्स फॉर गीक्स आम सद्धार्थ हाजरा एंड टुडे वी वुड बी डिस्कसिंग नॉर्मल बीएसटी टू बैलेंस्ड बीएसटी सो लेट्स टॉक अबाउट द फीडबैक ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम सो टॉकिंग अबाउट द फीडबैक ऑफ दिस प्रॉब्लम दिस प्रॉब्लम हैज अ वेरी हाई इम्पॉर्टेंस इन इंटरव्यूज नॉट जस्ट इंटरव्यूज द फर्स्ट प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बी एस टी इज वॉट लाइक इफ यू हैव वॉच्ड माई अर्लियर वीडियोज यू ऑलरेडी नो दैट एन इन ऑर्डर ट्रैवर्सल ऑफ अ बी एस टी इज अ सॉर्टेड रिजल्ट द वेरी नेक्स्ट वन इज ऑफ बैलेंस्ड बी एस टी दिस प्रॉब्लम इज वेरी मच आक्स लाइक इफ यू आई सी द कंपनी टैक्स इट इज जस्ट द मैंशन कंपनी इज जस्ट पे टी एम बट इट इज मच मोर देन दैट लाइक इट इज वन ऑफ द मोस्ट फ्रीक्वेंटली आक्सड क्वेश्चन ओके एंड इट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टू नो टू so talking about the feedback la real feedback we talked about the importance we would be now talking about the real feedback the this problem teaches us a very important property okay like what really is a balanced binary tree and how do we really construct it and this has this height thing has a very big importance when you would be learning about disjoint set union okay when you would be learning about disjoint set union you would be learning that less the number of height less the number of iteration if you just want to understand in a nutshell see binary search tree okay to search an element it is the order of h at max okay so if the height is less then that order thing would be less the number of operation in big o of h would be less so this has a very big importance in this now let's talk about this problem the problem is very simple to understand it is told that we are given a binary search tree and we need to convert it or make it balanced this is what is asked so now we already know one property that is the in order traversal of a binary search tree gives us a sorted result true enough so i would be first having a binary search tree okay even if you have not known this is a fact that you need to rely on okay and then we would have 20 we would have 10 now let us just validate the thing that i told you in order traversal of a binary search tree it has a sorted result so what is an in order traversal that is nothing but left root and then right itself so what is the left part of it left part is 20 20 would tell me no don't visit me first complete my left then 20 is left 10 would tell me okay completes my left i would tell 10 you don't really have anything left at this point so the first element visited would be this then this is visited so left of 20 is visited now the root part is there so we would now have 20 then as the left is visited now we would have 30 see now we got a sorted result this is how we would get a sorted result even though the bst is balanced even though it is unbalanced if it is a bst that is if it follows the property that on the left hand side the value would be less than the parent on the right hand side the value would be more than the parent if this holds true for all the nodes then it is a bst if it is a bst even if it is a normal even if it is balanced it the in order traversal would definitely give you a sorted result many solutions are built on the top of this fact so kindly learn this by heart now moving forward so the question is what do we really mean by balanced the balanced is that we should have the height as low as possible so if we want to have the height as low as possible then we need to distribute the elements on the left and right on a very concise manner like what i meant to say is c it can be 5 4 3 and 2 and then and then 1 see this condition is known as what this is a skew tree okay this is a this is kind of structure is known as skew tree these are asked like these all small things are asked in an interview now what i really can say is this is also a bst now what is the height of this 1 2 3 4 5 now what i can really do is i can convert this to like this then i can also convert this 
to something like this i can do something like this if i do it further again this side would increase so now i can see if i want to lessen the height this is the most optimal okay other than this these all had more so this is optimal why yes this is not absolutely optimal because we can still optimize over this and this but if we just have a rough intuition we can see that if we distribute the elements equally on left and right for all the nodes then the height would be very balanced okay kind of i got an intuition that we need to distribute the elements equally on both sides okay okay siddharth now how can we really move forward to this siddharth so let's say the elements are 1 2 3 4 5 let's say let's take the elements 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 okay so now if i want to distribute the elements equally for the root node then we saw that the number of nodes on this side should be equal to the number of nodes on this side so i should optimally select the root node as the middle node okay okay just make 5 as the root now i told you that we need to distribute the elements for all the nodes we got the idea okay like if you didn't get the idea for one node if it is true like let's say the value is let's say there are 3 4 and 5 and this is let's say 2 and 1 so we can optimize this further how we can optimize this further see this distribution of nodes is done correctly for the root like the root node has equal number of left and equal number of right but this 2 doesn't really have this this 4 doesn't really have this okay so now see now we can say that this part is the right of would constitute the right elements of the root node this part would be of the left why left would be small right would be more so now let's this is also a subtree this is also a subtree so now again we have four elements so if we want like what is greedy like let's talk in terms of dsa only let's today take examples of dsa only so that your older concept would also get revised what is greedy greedy is a paradigm where if we want the global optimal we focus on local optimal that would build up the global optimal true sadhar in the same manner if we want to distribute elements for the root node okay for if we want to distribute elements equally on the whole tree then we should focus on distributing them at each level arthat hindi mein samjha jaye to greedy kise kya अगर मुझे सबसे ज़्यादा पैसा मुझे लेट से मुझे मंथली बजट बचानी है ओके मुझे मंथली बहुत कम पैसे खर्चे करने हैं तो मैं क्या फोकस करूँगा मैं हर दिन कम पैसे खर्च करूँ ताकि मंथ पूरे मंथ का जो पैसे का खर्चा हो वो कम हो दिस इज ग्रीडी वट इज ग्रीडी ग्रीडी इज अ पैराडिम वेर वी फोकस ऑन गेटिंग द लोकल ऑप्टीमल टू बिल्ड अप अ ग्लोबल ऑप्टीमल सो इन द सेम मैनर अगर हम लोग ट्री को बैलेंस करने का तरीका ये हमें समझ में आया कि एलिमेंट्स को सही से डिस्ट्रीब्यूट करो लेफ्ट एंड राइट में तो अगर मुझे पूरा को ही बैलेंस्ड करना रहेगा तो मैं हर एक नोड पे वो डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन की कोशिश में रहूँगा ताकि अल्टीमेट जो वैल्यू आए वो पूरा बैलेंस्ड आए सो अनऑफिशियल डेफिनेशन वुड बी गेटिंग अ गेटिंग अ ग्लोबल बैलेंस ट्री इज नथिंग बट वी वुड ट्राई टू हैव अ बैलेंस्ड Balanced version on each of the nodes. सही है You can give this official definition. The interviewer would be impressed. Okay. So अब ये समझते हैं Now we have four elements. Now we should also try to try to distribute this for the left subtree. 
हमने सीखा सो हाउ वी डोंट रियली हैव द ऑड नंबर ऑफ एलिमेंट्स वी कॉन्ट रियली हैव टू टू ऑन ईच साइड बिकॉज वी डोंट हैव फाइव एलिमेंट्स वी हैव फोर एलिमेंट्स ठीक है अगर किसी दिन पैसे ना बचा पाए तो किसी दिन थोड़ा खर्चा ज़्यादा भी हो गया तो ठीक है एंड तक हमें अच्छा करना है ओके okay? किसी दिन तो ज़्यादा कम हो ही सकता है ना सो इन द सेम मैनर इफ वी डोंट रियली हैव द ऑप्शन टू डिस्ट्रीब्यूट एलिमेंट्स फॉर द राइट सब ट्री इक्वली देन वी कैन आई दर टेक सेवन और आई दर टेक एट लेट्स जस्ट से दैट वी जस्ट टेक सेवन ओके सो वी वुड टेक सेवन एज द राइट वाई राइट बिकॉज राइट साइड में एलिमेंट्स मोर लेफ्ट साइड में एलिमेंट्स लेस ओके सो ना अगेन वी हैव टू एलिमेंट्स हेयर अगेन वी कॉन्ट रियली ऑप्टिमाइज ऑन द राइट ऑफ सेवन बिकॉज वी हैव ओनली टू एलिमेंट्स ठीक है चलता है इतना तो चलता है सो वट वी वुड रियली डू इज वी वुड टेक लेट से एट एंड देन दिस वुड बी नाइन ओके एंड वी बिल्ड अप सी दिस एक्टेड एज अ रूट फॉर द राइट सब ट्री वी प्रोसेस दिस दिस इज ऑल्सो रिमेनिंग सो दिस साइड वुड बी नथिंग बट दिस वुड कंस्टिट्यूट सी इफ वी हैव सिलेक्टेड सेवन एज द रूट देन दिस साइड would be what right and this side would be left क्योंकि इतना ही search space था okay so we would try to constitute सिक्स as the left of सेवन we would do again the same thing okay so we would try to constitute सिक्स as the left of सेवन वी वुड डू अगेन द सेम थिंग वॉट इज द सर्च वॉट इज द स्पेस दैट वी आर गिवेन वी आर गिवेन फोर एलिमेंट्स वी कॉन्ट रियली डिवाइड फोर इन टू इक्वल हाफ सो वी वुड आई द टेक टू और आई द टेक थ्री लेट्स नाउ दिस टाइम टेक टू okay so we would make the root of the left sub tree as 2 now if 2 is the root then this side would be what this side would be left because it is smaller this side would be more this side would be right because it is bigger so let's just write this 1 ek hi element tha bas use likh do 3 4 again we can't really divide it because if there are odd number of elements we can do it If it is not possible, then क्या करो भैया हो नहीं रहा तो क्या करना Okay, so we would have something like थ्री and then left side would be फोर So now see how good this is. Okay, we have a balanced version of this. We have a balanced. Okay, so the idea is. that if there are odd number of elements we would select the middle element if odd number is not present then we would select either the median of that. like we can like we don't really check the median like we get to the middle if there are two elements we select either of them okay like you can decide to select either either left or either right okay of two middle if the number of elements are even what do i mean like if there are 1 2 3 4 so middle elements are 2 and 3 so we can either take 2 either take 3 the solution would be still the same okay good enough so selecting the middle of this and then the search space this one would become the right this one would become the left then the search space is again reduced this looks akin to binary search na okay so the intuition is kind of given from greedy and this looks kind of like the binary search so we would kind of use the same binary search idea but yahan pe to humne aise elements list out kar diye on this we have listed the elements in the sorted form that is why we are able to do that but here we have a bst we need the sorted form so that fact in order traversal of a bst gives us a sorted result so what we would really do is we would take up a data structure visit the visit the bst in in order and we would insert all the elements in the data structure and do a binary search kind of idea and we would be able to solve this okay so kind of i am very well accustomed to taking unusual examples or examples which are out of the domain of dsa but this problem has 
a tinge of DSA in every aspect, be it intuition, be it implementation, be it the idea. So it, I didn't really require. So now you would see the code and it would make more sense. So let's just pile up everything. We would visit up the in order, we would keep it in a data structure, visit up the tree like we did in binary search. Let us move to this. So we are having all the balance thing in a data structure. So we need to store nodes. So we can just declare a dynamic array of type nodes. So we would say array list of nodes. So we would say vector of node star v. And then we need to do an in order traversal. So we what we would do is in order traversal won't have any return type. So we would say void in just in is enough. Okay, so what all information we would have? We would have the starting point that is the root and just this. And we want to save the result, not only use it, that is to modify this data structure. So we would pass it by reference by using a ampersand sign. Now, the same in order thing if the root is equals to equals to null, okay then we would simply return if it is not null then it would come at this position so first we would visit the left side of it so we would say root dash left and then the v itself after the left is done then only we would visit the root so now we would say v now this is the point we don't really visit it we are saving it in a data structure v dot push back the value of the root itself and then after left root and then right so root dash right comma v and this is done so we would do the in order traversal in order traversal of root comma v and this is enough after this point we would have the construct function which would basically construct the balanced binary tree or I would just name it as rec and that is more than enough. Okay. So we would have a vector of what? A vector of nodes. Okay. Pass it by reference, pass it by value. Don't That won't really affect but pass by reference is faster because the address is passed, not a copy of it is passed. So you just learn the definition of pass by reference and pass by value. So just like in a binary search, what was the important aspect? We have the left, we have the right. And we were finding the middle by doing left plus right divided by 2. So we would have the left and the right. Initially the search space would be 0 and n minus 1. Okay. What is n minus 1? The size of result minus 1. That is the first and the last element. Okay. We would have L and R. So we would simply say while L is less than R. We used in binary search while L is less than R. So here we would write if l is greater than r then we would return something like null okay like this would be just the base condition in the while loop we were had we were having in binary such now while l is less than equal to r so to stop that when l would be greater than r we were stopping the while loop so to stop that while loop to have a stopping condition in recursion we are having equal to null itself okay we would find the mid Let's have the indentation a little bit better. So in mid is equals to L plus R divided by 2. Now what we would do is the middle became the root node. So now we would say node star temporary is equals to V of mid. Okay. After it is done, its left would constitute of what? If let's say we have selected 5 as the root, then this would constitute of what? This would constitute as left. So that is 0 till the value of mid minus 1. This is what we were doing. Okay. So here 0 is L. So we would say, let us understand this again. If let's say this is L, this is R, this is mid. So if this is the left part, this would be L to mid minus 1 would constitute the left. L to mid minus 1. L to mid minus 1. That is this part. 
so we would say tp dash left what would it would be it would be rec of the v would remain the same l would remain the same and this would be mid minus 1 and tp of right would be what if this is equal to mid and this is equal to r then this would be mid plus 1 to r this is mid plus 1 this point so we would simply say tp dash right is equals to rec of v comma mid plus 1 to r itself and then we would after the left and right is done of tp we would return the value of tp and this is done okay so this is done so now i told you that we would have the size so int l is equals to 0 r is equals to what v dot size okay and then we would return what rec of v comma l comma r and this would be 0 to n minus 1 would be the initial search space this is done let us just compare and see how many errors are we making good enough we aren't make really making any errors that's it so let's talk about the time complexity of this problem so we were doing an in order traversal in order traversal is big o of n so big o of n added to binary search thing but we are processing every element so we are processing every element that would be big o of n only big o of n plus big o of n is big o of 2 and ignoring the constant in big o it is big o of n talking about the space complexity we are visiting each of the nodes and keeping it in a data structure so the number of nodes in the normal bst would be the number of elements kept in the data structure so the space complexity is also big o of n okay so that's it for today thank you